Hey everybody, welcome back to the Carry Cut YouTube channel. Hey, if you're new here, we sure do appreciate, appreciate you stopping by and watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and also check out our Instagram if you'd like to, at Carry and Cut, and our Patreon, also at Carry and Cut. We sure do appreciate all your guys' support and all your help. All the proceeds from the Patreon are, are going to go directly back into the channel to buy new knives, new equipment to hopefully make the quality and the content better for you guys. So today, we are going to be taking a look at the Benchmade Bugout 535. I know I am uh, very late to the party on this one. This knife has been out for a good long time now, at least, probably at least five years. And um, this is definitely a very iconic Benchmade knife nowadays. I know when people say the word Benchmade, a lot of people directly go right to the bug out. That's what they think about. And um, the flagship for this model would be the uh, incredible lightness and the utilitarian, you know, vibe this thing puts off. It's um, a very useful knife, blade shape. It's easy to carry it's uh you're ne definitely never going to weigh you down we'll get the scale out and we'll measure it up and uh, weigh it and see what all's going on with it though but a quick rundown of it we got um our grivery handles here grivery grivery whatever you want to call it it's some kind of like a plasticky sort of something like that and it's pretty definitely nice i know some people will have their main gripe about this knife is the handles and uh how they you know when you're really gripping down on the knife and you can kind of feel it flexing and that's definitely uh, definitely true. You can definitely feel that flexing, but it's just um, you know that's a preference. If you know if you guys if that really is off putting to you, then they even do have you know aluminum handled ones, and I'm pretty sure you can even get titanium ones nowadays too. So of course those are going to come with a serious price tag of probably north of three hundred dollars or more. So you know, I think this knife you can get it find at retailers for one hundred fifty, maybe one hundred fifty five dollars. I'll have a link down in the description below, and also have all my. Um, tools that I use, all the uh, stuff that I find recommendable, I'll have that in the description down there below. If you guys like to check that out, you can if you'd like to. It's entirely up to you, but it does help the channel if you do. Um, so let's go ahead and get right into it here. This is, of course, your Benchmade. It's got the access lock on it, and it's a uh, you know, finger-safe lock. All your, you know, what I mean by that is your finger is not going to be in the, uh, come across the, uh, the blade path when you're opening and closing. So that's really big. That's my, you know, favorite style of of locks, you could say, you know, I really don't want to uh, keep chopping my fingers off and using the darn thing. So, and uh, we have thumb stud deployment, and you know, you can do normal thumb stud. I always like to get that reverse flick going on with your with your middle finger. So that's pretty pretty cool. You got two blue anodized thumb studs, aluminum. We got blue anodized backspacers on it. We have a mini deep carry clip, and we have CPM S30V blade steel on here. This is a uh, Pretty sure it's 58 to 60 HRC is what they say on the hardness, which is, uh, that's pretty good. You know, I like S30B steel. It's easy to use. It's, you know, it got pretty good stainlessness. It's pretty tough and it has pretty decent edge retention too. So you really, uh, it's pretty overall nice steel to be using. It's easy to sharpen too. It's not, you know, nothing too crazy. You're actually going to be able to, pretty user friendly. So let's get some overall size on this thing. We're looking at from the tip of the blade all the way to the butt it looks like it's about maybe just over seven and a quarter i got 7.46 it says on the specs on the website which i mean i guess that's probably probably pretty close to accurate yeah i'd say you're pretty much right there on that one actual blade length we're looking at three it says three and a quarter but i'm getting you know sharpened edge you're getting three i guess you'd be three and a quarter once you get right up there to your sharpening choil and this does have a little bit of a sharpening choil on there so it's pretty you definitely got a couple sharpens before you start seeing any weird smiles on the blade or anything like that so that's pretty good our uh, overall thickness carry profile it's definitely very narrow um this is one of those ones you're not even going to notice it's in your pocket and if you're a freak of lightweight stuff and you want to be your ultra lightweight backpacking trip or camp trip and this thing is definitely not going to weigh you down you're going to want to get this one so let's go ahead and weigh it and see what we got going on here in the weight department thanks to mrs carry and cut for the kitchen scale again she was looking for it the other day she she about hounded me for it so we're looking at 1.9. I think it says it says 1.8 on the website. My scale might be a little bit off. Let's go ahead and zero that back out. Ooh, see, I said 0.1 right there. Uh, 1.9 again. So it's pretty close. Regardless, you know, it's a very light knife for having an over three inch blade and 1.9 ounces. That's pretty remarkable what they're able to uh, achieve. And that's you know mostly thanks to these driver handles. And so there's no there is a liner, but that's just mainly for the axis lock. So it doesn't go. All the way into the knife it stops I don't know if you guys can see that maybe you can see it on the inside so it stops right about here on the actual knife and it kind of goes about halfway down there's also a lot of eternal milling oh, I would probably wouldn't say it's milling it's probably like um, 
know if these are stamped out or how exactly these are these handles are made but there's some weight reliefs in there and uh, the liners are also nested on the inside so it's very nice um, smooth action of course you know Benchmade's quality they're um, they stand behind what they make I know a lot of people think their prices are outrageous but you definitely do get a nice quality product you get a good warranty with them and uh, you're paying for that name and the, the Benchmade uh, butterfly so you know you can't I can't forget about that you know, like a lot of people like to point that out so Overall review on it though, I think it's a great knife. I was carrying it there for a couple of days, just getting the getting the feels for it, and uh, it's definitely you know very ergonomical. The handle is nice, you know, hand melting. I'd like to eventually check out one of the mini ones. I know I uh, checked out uh, some of the um, it was the mini Osborne, I think it was. They had the mini 940, I think it's a 945, and I also had the full full immunity. So that was definitely a small knife also. And I almost forgot to mention that um, Jimmy Crow. Our, uh, one of our loyal subscribers sent these knives in. The next couple knives in the series are going to be all from uh, Jimmy Crow. So everybody uh, give Jimmy a big um, big hand. Tell him thank you. You know, give a big shout out to him for letting us check out some of his collection. And he has a massive collection of knives. And I think he has like 16 bug outs, I think is what he said. So this is the only one that I think is actually all the way stock. So he does a lot of cool modifications. He does, you know, different blade grinds. He does um, whole sorts of different scales. He dies scales. Does a whole bunch of cool stuff. So... Definitely very appreciative of him sending this in for us to review. And uh, we're going to be doing a full uh, teardown, disassembly, and maintenance on this knife also. So I know a lot of you guys like to see uh, see the teardowns, breakdowns, maintaining your knife, and cool stuff like that. And it's fun for me too. I like it. It's uh, pretty much, I guess you could say, if you guys watch the uh, Staza Knife Therapy, it definitely is some like you know somewhat like therapy. It's cool just to, uh, you know, tear down your knives and put them back together. And it's definitely something that uh, I enjoy, and it's a good hobby. So... And also, don't forget about our 500 subscriber giveaway. That's a recording of this. I think we are 448 subscribers, so we only need 52 more. And we're going to be giving away this Civivi Praxis button lock. This is definitely a sweet knife. Almost 3 and 3 quarter inches of Nitro V blade steel, aluminum handles, button lock action. You know, this is definitely a good one. Don't miss out on this one. So, thank you guys very much. Till next time. See ya.